people to see the kingdom of God on earth. He put us here for them people on our jobs. And the young ladies who aren't dressed as appropriately as we think they should be. And the young men who are killing people or doing things, stealing and robbing, and we don't know it's because they never were loved properly. If we would be the kingdom, then some the people would straighten up around here. They would come to know this God that we talk about in these four walls. But we know now that we're the kingdom, and so it's just not in church, but it's at Walmart. It's at the drugstore. Next time you go to the mall, remember I the kingdom and next time you look at your bills be like I'm kingdom and next time you feel like you're alone say it's cool because I'm the kingdom of God it dwells on the inside of me my relationship tells me that I'm kingdom on tonight our destiny somebody else's destiny is dependent on you so if the kingdom is sitting down in a corner Mad because somebody didn't speak to you. Then how will the world ever see Jesus? If the kingdom is sitting shut up, angry, and full of regret, how will anybody come to know him to be a savior? If the kingdom is shut up on the inside of us, how many people do you think are waiting on you to unlock the kingdom that dwells within on the inside of you? So that Because they'll want to be kingdom too. Praise the Lord. The kingdom of God 
dwells in us. Our relationship tells us that the kingdom come, not for us, but for someone else, to give somebody else a hand up. And our relationship tells us that since we're the kingdom, the enemy is already defeated. So next time, notify yourself. Sometimes we got to talk to ourselves to get it together. I am the head and not the tail. Above and not beneath. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Because my relationship tells me that I am kingdom. You 